Hi and welcome to this video tutorial for stencil and in this tutorial we're going to look at motion paths and if you've been following the rest of the tutorials in this sequence uh, you will have seen me make this game and in the last video we looked at how to add this title page which you can see as a little robot moving to and forth and I've done that creating a simple motion path so a motion path is just a predefined set of uh, coordinates that a enemy or a character follows and moves along during a game lots of video games use motion paths um, now it's okay to use it on the title page but I guess if we go into the game it would probably be much more logical to have a character moving along a motion path so you can see that I've actually removed the enemy character that I had before and I'm going to re-add a character and set him up with a motion path this time round so hopefully uh, this will be a good demo of how to do it so um, first thing I need to do is make myself a new act I'm just gonna make a new actor for the for the purposes of this and I'm gonna make him more just use one of the sprites I've already done so I'm gonna call him um, motion guy and then all I'm gonna do is pull in one of the previous uh, sprites that I've already used uh, because the only difference really I want between my, my bad guys is the way that they move and I'm quite happy for them all to look the same you could of course have different bad guys that look different according to how they move but that's up to you so anyway let's find an enemy robot there we go add that set the physics up first of all so we want him so he can move but we don't want him rotating and we don't want him affected by gravity and then the next job would be to create a behavior now the behavior we're going to create is a movement related one and it will be to allow him to move along a set path before you can do that you need to have had a think about what your motion path is going to be so on my level here um, I'm going to have him moving around kind of this central island thing here, just kind of patrolling around like that. So what I need to know before I start to set the behavior is the coordinates of where I want him to move. So I want him to check, I want him to start, say, here, get to here, move along to here, and then move up to here, and then obviously go back to the start again. So what I need are four sets of x and y coordinates and remember you can see your x and y coordinates from there so x one another one here another one here and another one here and then what the computer will do it what stencil will do is it, it will move them between those points for you so i'm going to go back to motion guy and add his behavior uh, we've already got a follow path in from what i was doing before but we're going to go motion uh, follow path and this is the follow path screen now at the top here uh, are the coordinates and this is this is the bit that you've got to have thought about first so this is where you add each set of coordinates that your character is going to move between okay so I know for instance to start with because I've that I've thought about this that I want him to start out at X195 and Y180 so actually what I do it might not seem logical but I change it to text and I put 195 180 and then I'm going to put a third value in which is the speed if you don't put the speed in it defaults to 10 anyway so that's my start point then I'm going to add a second coordinate and again I've planned this in advance so it should work okay 195 275 10 and then I'm going to add another one and this one's going to be 398, 275, and 10. And then the final coordinate, again, text base is going to be uh, 398, oops, 180, 10. Now you notice that X coordinate stays the same in the first one, and the Y coordinate changes and then the y coordinate stays the same and the x changes and then the x coordinate stays the same and the y coordinate changes in the last one now these options here 
are useful to look at. The default speed is set to 10. You can change that if you want. Loop is really useful because it means that when it reaches the last point, it will go back to where it was at the start. So I don't have to do that myself. If I untick that, it would stop. And I want, but I don't want him to do that, so I'm going to keep it ticked. And jump to start means if I if, if I put the character on screen and he's not in the right place at the start, it will immediately jump to that point. If I tick that up, untick that, the character will move to that point. I'm going to have it so he actually starts at the right point because it makes it easier to add the character to the level. So now I'm just going to add to scene. So it's a level one. And then I'm going to put him roughly where I want him to be. Uh, which is kind of about, uh, let's see, what it, roughly in the same kind of place, roughly about there. And now I'm going to preview the game, we'll compile the game, and then we'll see what happens when the game's compiled. Okay, so my game's compiled, and you can see what's happening. I've got my, my robot guy is just moving in a continuous pattern around that central bit, which is just what I wanted. Uh, one of the things I should have mentioned is you do need to be careful and you need to think about things like collisions because if there was one of these girders w was in the way of the motion path it would it would obey the collision rule before it obeyed the motion path rule so it would stop so sometimes if you do a motion path and the character isn't actually moving you might want to just check your, your coordinates and, and the collisions for that character so that's a really short demonstration of how to do motion paths. It just adds a little bit of variety to your game if you have uh, characters that move in different ways. We started the game with a character that followed the player move towards him. You could combine that with different styles of movement, which will just make a more interesting and creative, interesting and creative game. So have fun. Uh, try adding some motion paths for your characters and see how it goes. Bye for now.